Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, December 14, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our live trades and courses. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have broken down quite significantly today. We are down 0.67 at this point. We are trading above the 50 moving average and underneath the 40 exponential moving average. But we did pierce the 50 moving average. So this has all to do with the US dollar appreciating and also the Brexit negotiations, which at this point, are not looking very good, but it has been looking good for four years. This is nothing new. Um, that's the main reason why it has been absolutely hopeless to trade the Great British Pound US dollar the last four years because of a constant news about Brexit, and it just makes it nearly impossible to trade this. But if you look at this, if you look at technical indicators for, for this currency pair, then they are looking dreadful. MACD is, is a negative, the stochastic, the stochastic is negative, the RSI is also very negative, the same is going CCI, and we're way across the lower boundaries of the Bollinger Band. So I would not be surprised if we have a little bit of pullback. We already have had a little bit of pullback. We dropped actually, how far? Nearly 1.42% today. And then we pulled back to 0.67%. Even 0.67 is a lot, and 1.47 is it's enormous. So we found um, support here just above the 100 moving average, and that is roughly 1313. So at this point, I think that we are going to test the 100 moving average again, may have a little bit of pullback, and then test the 100 moving average. If there's no deal in the Brexit negotiation, then watch out below, because this is just going to fall apart. And um, I don't believe that is going to be the case. Um, both the European Union and uh, and uh, and Britain are playing hardball at this point. But the truth is that neither party uh, can afford um, uh, basically a stalemate. It's just um, the Europe U European Union is weak at this point, and Britain is also weak. Both of them want some kind of resolution to this, and I'm pretty sure they are going to get it. But we just have to see how far this goes. Um, because at this point, it is nearly impossible to trade this. You will hear news one day, news the other day, and this will just jump one, uh, plus minus 1% uh, within a few minutes. So US dollar yen, we have started our decline. We ran into major resistance here at the 50 moving average yesterday. And now we are continuing our decline. So this candlestick here is not very bullish. And uh, as we have been in this channel for many months now, it is expected every time we get close to the 50 moving average or this upper channel at the 100 moving average, it's a selling opportunity. And that's what we're seeing here. So rallied up towards the 50, got rejected. And now we're heading back towards this lower channel. Technical indicators for this are looking more um, bearish at this point, and that is also why I expect this to turn around and head for the lows. So no interest in basically buying this. This is a possible sell at this point with a stop loss above the 100 moving average. So let's look at the euro, US dollar. As you can see, we need to get rid of this now. Because uh, what is forming here is basically a flag pattern. So, and this is a bullish flag pattern. So what is most likely going to happen here is that we rally it. We're going to move sideways for, well, some time. And then we're basically just going to shoot up into the air. There's a lot of support underneath. So I don't think that this is going to break down. We have tried to, bro uh, tried to break down and we just got close to the 20 exponential moving average and not, uh, well, technically closer than that. So at this point, I think that we are just going to trade sideways. And at some point, we are going to shoot up and take out these previous highs. So no interest of basically 
shorting this, the closer that we get to the 20 exponential, well, the better the buying opportunity for this is. Um, so if you look at the technical indicators, they are, well, they're not looking very bullish at this point, but we are also saving time. That's what flag patterns particularly do. They just save time, build up the momentum, and then they go to the upside. So Aussie, US dollar, as you can see, we broke down a little bit, which was expected. I do expect us to go all the way down to these previous highs of 0.74. And the reason for that is because we are still overbought, significantly overbought. So these technical indicators will most likely uh, turn around in um, probably best case scenario. We will go all the way down to the 20 exponential and there will be additional buying opportunity. I don't think we'll, we get that far. I think that uh, 0 0.74 is our is the next is basically our lows at this point. We can technically get rid of this. So these are our lows, which were which were the previous highs. So we can basically get this a little bit lower down towards this area. So these are the previous highs here, and this is probably the as low as this can basically go. We'll have the 20 exponential coming up underneath here, and we'll have this um, support line, and then we'll bounce from here. That is most likely what is going to happen. So I'm not interested in basically shorting this. The closer that we get to the 20 exponential, well, the more uh, likely it is to, to buy this. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, as you can see, we have rallied and we are most likely going to rally up towards the 20 exponential moving average before we continue further down. So the lows of yesterday, 1.270 is our new lows. And at this point, we are probably going to get um, some more momentum. And that means that we are going to rally up towards the 20 exponential moving average, which is at 1290. And as you can see, these technical indicators are also showing that we are turning around in this um, currency pair. We are still significantly oversold, so keep that in mind. It is not a good idea to sell it here. Wait until it gets close to the 20 exponential. Um, I don't think that we're going to cross that. As you can see, the 20 exponential has been really uh, resistant uh, for a very long time, and it will most likely be now as well. So get close to the 20 exponential, and then you're possible. And then it's possible to sell this. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our online service. Um, and the link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Good weekend.